Well, what can I say? We've just been to Codney Castle and I did the video in section you've seen. I took some photographs and then uh, I was packing up my video camera and this bloke approached us through the moat of the castle. And he said, what are you doing? He says, so I'm taking photos. He said, this is my land, he says, and starts going off on one. Right, shitty attitude and uh, it was a case of this is my land he says you're not having a picnic in my field and I, I challenged him saying it was public field you know you know public footpath and all that lot he says yeah there's a footpath and it's over there so he starts going on and on and on about, I own this land I've um, uh, doing the farm house up I'm doing the castle up you can't do the castle up it's a wreck it's just about four walls and uh, two di well, two walls on one part and four two walls on another side, not square but in, in, like alleyways. And uh, I've paid a million pound for this, and I don't want. I'm sick of people like you coming up onto this land. I mean, talk about lording it over you. I've paid a million pound for this, lording it over you. Really, I've got the money and I can pay for this, and I can. What a load of bollocks! Anyway, yeah, uh, from there, we practice. Oh, and he went on and on and on. Do you want to see the deeds? I've got the land. This is my land. You're not having a picnic on my land. We was only 30 feet away from the bloody public footpath. You're not allowed to have a picnic on a public footpath either and all that shite. And uh, God, what a miserable old toad. And his attitude was shit. So, he was also stating... You can come back when it's finished. He says it's going to be a petting farm. And he says we're doing up the castle as well. He says then you'll be welcome. No, I don't think so. You can shove your petting farm. You can shove your castle. And if anybody else is watching this, don't bother going. It's four walls. Two two uh, two walls are L shaped. Uh, and, and they're just walls. There's nothing really there, and it's very, very disappointing. Um, and from there, petting zoo, really. And you've got private roads leading to and from it, and, and they're gated off, so there's nowhere near to park. And um, I'm not telling you where we park, but we had another job going there. And uh, got arsed off. So he's expecting people like me. And everybody else who he arses off his land. This is my land. Get off my land. And he's expecting people like me and you, who might be a bit interested in castles, to go and fund what he's paying out at the moment through a petting petting zoo. No, I don't think so. So if there's anybody watching this, the best views you're going to get because you can't get close to it. You can't get close to it, you're about 100 yards away from it from all the fencing. You're not allowed on the field that surrounds it, apart from the footpath. And uh, the view is terrible, you can't get anywhere near it. Absolutely nowhere near it. So just be, just be content with the videos on YouTube and the photographs you see of the place. And, uh, you know, just be done with that save your time and your effort of going there because there's nowhere to park and if you do manage to drive down there they've got gated areas there's nowhere to park and if one of them gates are closed you're trapped unless you've got a crowbar and uh, that's it basically don't bother going it's not worth it it really isn't worth it and when it does open as a petting zoo the castle's going to be as it is now it's still a ruin but when it does open as a petting zoo don't go, don't go. His attitude was shit, absolute shit. And it was a case of, this is my land, get off my land, I've paid a million pounds for this. I mean, really lording it over, and he never stopped. He went on and on and on. So, don't go, don't go. Let him go bankrupt like the real owners of the place from uh, centuries ago. Let him go bankrupt. What a miserable.
bastard. <laughs> See you later, folks. Mm -hmm.